In this video, we're going to look at how to create a table in Excel, and then how we're going to and then how we're going to uh, use Excel to calculate summations, which are very very common in statistics. Now here I've got a, a problem that's uh, set up, and in this uh, in this problem we have uh, five girls. Now these five girls all have uh, French names because I lived in France, and I think it's kind of interesting that uh, Americans have this tendency to uh, uh, name people after places in France. So we've got Brittany and Rochelle and Pri and Lorraine and Paris. And they are five girls who are very close friends and they uh, uh, sit around and talk about the food that they eat. Now, one of their favorite foods are frozen burritos. So they have been sitting around sharing how many frozen burritos they have eaten this week. And what we have is we have Brittany and Rochelle each ate one burrito in this last week. Brie had two, Lauren had three, and Paris had five. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how we can use Excel to calculate certain summations. Now this is a simple enough problem so that you wouldn't really need to use Excel, but this will be a good example of how to use uh, uh, summations. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're, we're going to look at four different things to, that we're going to calculate. First of all, we're going to calculate the total number of burritos consumed. Now that's not very difficult. And these are one plus one plus two plus three plus five. So that's like, like 12 burritos, but we're going to show you how we can do it on Excel using a summation notation. That's so if we let x equals the number of burritos consumed, we're going to calculate the summation of x. That little squiggly thing there is the summation sign. It's a capital uh, sigma, capital S in Greek, and it means sum them all up. Secondly, we're going to calculate that very unfortunate thing that occurs with frozen burritos. Now, when you microwave them for too long, they get tough. Well, how many frozen burrito corners are they going to consume? And since each burrito has four corners, and the number of corners equals x, that's going to be the sum of 4x. That's going to be the uh, uh, what we're going to uh, how we're going to calculate the number of corners. Now, this is a very special time of life for these five girls because next week they are at the supermarket. They are going to have a two-for-one special deal on frozen burritos. So they're going to be able to buy a lot more burritos than they did uh, 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 this week for the same price. Not only is it two-for-one, but there's also a coupon in the mailer that each of them received that allows them to receive one, frozen, one free frozen uh, burrito. So, the way that we would express the number of burritos that they're going to eat next week is, it's going to be X is how many they ate this week, 2X is how much they're going to get if they can get two for one, but each person's also going to be able to buy one additional burrito. So we're going to rewrite that as a summation of the quantity 2X plus one. Now, how do we, how do we put this in Excel? Let's make a table. So over here, let's put, uh, let's have the first column named uh, uh, girl, and we're going to have Brittany. We're going to have, I'm going to lower the, go to the next square, Rochelle. The next cell is uh, Brie. The next cell is Lorraine. The next cell is Paris, Paris. And then we're going to calculate, we're gonna let X equals the number of burritos. We wanna calculate X there, and we want the summation of all those X's. In this column, we're going to calculate 4X, the number of corners they ate. And over here, we're going to do 2X plus one. That's the uh, number of uh, burritos they're going to get next week. 
And there we have uh, the outline of a table. Now, if we just click any place in here, and if we go into uh, insert up here, we can and press table. That'll ask me, do you want to create a table? Yes. And it's circ it squared those, it took, put all those in a rectangle there. It says, does your table have headers? Yes. That's what that top line is, is a header. So I'm going to click yes. I'm going to press OK. And so there we have a table. Now I'm going to enter the data. We start off with X. And so Brittany had one. Um, uh, Rochelle had one, Brie had two, Lorraine had three, and Paris had five. Now let's just put a little note up here so that we can tell what's going on. So this is, this is burritos, this is corners, and this is, this is how many burritos they get next week. Let's call that burritos galore. Burritos galore. All right, it's going to be a good week next week for them with all these frozen burritos. Now, let's. Uh, what we want to do is we want to get the summation of all the burritos. Now, one of the, the ways that we can do it, an easy way of doing it, is we put in the Excel command here, and we can go equals, that indicates you're making a command, sum, and then we put a parentheses, and we are going to go from uh, C10 down to, and so I clicked on C10, I put that, that down there, and we're going to go down, I'm pulling the handle down there to C15, um, and I'm going to close the parentheses. And so notice how I put the two dots there. You could have typed in C11.C15 to get that same command. Then you close that range of cells, and that's what this blue square indicates there, that that's the range of cells. And we press Enter, and it says, aha, this looks like it's a summation. So it put a double line there, and in the table there, it, it put 12. So we can, uh, we can even put a total down here, total. And now we want to calculate the corners. So what we need to do is we need to do four times the number of burritos. So we're going to type in an Excel command to multiply the number of burritos by 4. So we're going to go equals, then 4, and then our sign for multiplying is the asterisk. And then we want to put in um, this cell address here, C11. C11, and that shows up. That blue square there shows that we have the right uh, uh, cell. Now, if I press Enter, it calculates the corners, not just for Brittany, but since this is a table, it went and calculated them for all five girls. That's, that's really cool. Now, let's, uh, let's take our summation sign, and we want to, we could retype the command, but we don't want to retype the command. Let's just click on this. We've got that little square there, the handle, and let's dr drag that handle over to the bottom two cells there, and that will copy the command in there. So it says that there's 48 there. Now if I click on that, that says the sum of D11 to D15. That's what I want. It read our minds and it said, aha, you got, this, you got the summation from table from column C. You probably want the summation for column D and column E also. So that's why it did that when it dragged uh, uh, when we dragged that handle over. Well, now we still have to calculate how many burritos are going to get for burritos galore. So let's go over here, and we are going to calculate that by equals two, and then we're going to do the star or asterisk, and that cell number that is the number of burritos X is C11 C. 11 and we want to do plus one we press enter there and look at that it calculated all the burritos that each girl is going to get next week boy paris gets 11 burritos that's going to be a good week for her and that makes a total of 29 burritos so we have looked at how we 
can create a table in Excel. That's what this, this table is with the, the, the blue lines in there. And we looked at how we can go from summation notation to calculating the, uh, the sum, sums uh, using the sum command. Now, there's a lot of other ways to, to do the sum command, too, but I, I showed you uh, one simple way. Now, something that we do at Azusa Pacific University is we, most of us, are a community of, of believers in Jesus Christ. And so I'd like to reflect a little bit on something about summation notation that, that kind of has a link to a biblical concept. So I want to just mention a, a verse that talks about the importance of valuing everyone. When we do summations, we're basically taking every piece of data that we have and putting it together. We're, in this burrito example, we had the information on five people, so we took everybody's information together. And in statistics, that's what we do an awful lot, is just take all the information we have, put it together, and make some type of conclusion. Now, this idea of taking all of the information together implies that everybody is important. And this is a fundamental concept in Christianity. There's a, a verse in the Bible that, that talks about how there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor there is male or, and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. You've got all kinds of people in the world. Now, this uses examples from uh, the Roman world of the first century. And the author of the book of Galatians, the Apostle Paul, is basically saying, you know what? We've got all kinds of social statuses. We've got all kinds of ways of describing people. But every single person is important in God's eyes. And as a, a, a group of Christians, we need to make sure that we value each person equally. The person who is rich and famous is not more important than the person that is poor and struggling in life. The person who is uh, good in stats is not any more important than the person that's not good in stats. The person that's successful in life, the person that's uh, famous, the person that's glorious, the person that everybody likes, these people aren't any more important than the people that, the, that everybody rejects. Everybody has equal value in God's eyes because we're all created in his image and he values and loves us equally. 